All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and hopefully everyone had a very good uh, Friday plus weekend. I took a quite a bit of time off. Yeah, I gotta adjust the camera yet again. So, you know, quite well rested. I actually, I actually would like to just just do no no more work and just sit on my ass all day. But um, I actually played with Twitter, believe it or not. But um, you know, the show must go on, and we gotta keep the content going. Cause I've noticed since uh, Sunday or Saturday, the <laughs> subscriber count actually uh, just kind of stopped. So that means I gotta, <laughs> you know, I gotta, you know, pump the uh, pumper or whatever it's called, and put some put some actual content out on this channel. So anyway, it's been uh, caught up a lot of personal stuff. I relaxed, you know. I'm actively focusing on losing weight now. You know, because now I'm just simply not buying any more snacks. So when I start, my body starves. I make sure I don't identify with that stuff, because that that just makes it worse. When my body is hungry and starving, it's like, well, there's no snacks, so too bad. <laughs> and my body, you know, is starting to finally drop these pounds. So I don't know, maybe hopefully in 30, 45 days, you know, I can lose quite a bit of weight. So, yeah. So there's, uh, so again, my YouTube sources, there's like no new projects. It's like, except this one. So they're, they're, they're like crypto projects, as always, it's just very dry. So today we're going to go over 100 Days Ventures, because I had people nag me forever about that. And like, I've been very hesitant to cover it. All right, but all right, enough time has passed that I can make a review of it. And then, you know, I had to research a uh, Tomb Fork real quick, real quick, and then we'll just have this. So we can really just have three videos to do today. I also am just not, I've also been trying something different on Twitter over the past couple of days. So I'm trying to see uh, if uh, I can, because I'm trying to figure out what my old acquaintance buddy, well, really more like acquaintance, Mike Cernovich, uh, used to do. Because I remember when I first got on Twitter, like, you know, March 2016, Mike Cernovich was at like 10,000, you know, followers. Now he's, all, he, now he's basically at a million followers. So I'm still trying to figure out, like, what is, there's always a secret sauce to everything, right? So I'm just trying to figure out what that is. So basically, it just involves, you know, liking and specifically retweeting a bunch of people because people use Facebook and Twitter, believe it or not, to actually uh, get news and information. And then the social aspect derives from that. So, and I've noticed that the Twitter algorithm, you know, does all the heavy lifting. You know, everyone com complains about it, especially us on the right, but I've decided... Well, I mean, I can't do anything, so I might as well try to, you know, just like, just like Greg Mariano says with the Federal Reserve, we've got to try to weaponize the system against itself, right? Either the system hurts you or you, you know, ride the bear, ride the system, make it work for you. You know, it's kind of like a, uh, well, what is it, a river, right? And it's obviously got a flow, and it's a raging river rapid, so you can try going against the river tides, but you and I both know you're just going to get killed, so you might as well just ride the same direction and, and then just get off on the side when you uh you know ha uh whenever when you have the chance or when you want to so yeah uh but yeah i also noticed a lot of hot girls actually follow my twitter so i don't know i always just thought it was like all fake but apparently they're not actually fake people <laughs> so yeah so that's also nice but i think i just prefer to use a dating app but I don't know, I guess I'll keep an open mind and see whatever the hell happens. Uh, but yeah, I actually did a Spark Toro auto on my Twitter, and really a lot of other big accounts. Yeah, we all have fake followers. Like, mine, personally, is around 40%, and like 30% of them are inactive accounts, which is why my engagement's so bad. Mike Cernovich has around 31% fake followers, but his engagement, but all his followers are very active, and... You know, has an extremely high, you know, near perfect engagement score, which makes sense, right? So, and then Ellen DeGeneres, like half her followers are fake. Like I posted it on Twitter already, but it's like it's like ridiculous. It's like I just can't wait for Elon Musk to buy out, you know, shit Twitter and then you know fix all these problems. You know, I would be okay if I had like five thousand followers, but I knew they were actual real people and they were actually active. You know, but you know, whatever. So, all right, 
So I forgot which YouTuber. I think it was Rabbit Hole that uh, did. So that's a quick update. And I don't. I don't even feel like talking about the markets because right now it's kind of like in a uh, confused state. So let's just hope that. What I hope is that, like Greg Manor says, the markets go up today. So we'll we'll see how it goes. So I mean, it's looking okay. Uh, it's looking okay, but something is. Something is making the markets a little jittery, so we'll just find out. But it'll be after where you don't finish these videos today. <clears throat> but obviously, uh, you know, I'll update on my Twitter. <laughs> if you don't mind me tweeting like 200 times a day. Because that's really where I'm at now, Two, 300. i got to check my social. Actually, let me actually put up, pull up my social blade and then look at it when I'm done. Okay, so this is called Swagger Hybrid. And, uh, well, I mean... It's a, so I think it's a hybrid drip network and miner project, just like it says somewhere here. Now, the, there's a lot of text. The color scheme is kind of irritating for my eyes, so I'll just try to see what the relevant details is. I do know that you, pro, you do need some kind of referral, right, because that's how all drip networks work. So this is on the Binance Smart Chain, which, funny enough, is never mentioned here on the front page anywhere. I had to actually go to their Twitter. So you can earn up to 3% a day for up to a total of 360%. So 10 days, 100 days. So for 120 days, you're earning 3% a day. Then I assume the thing expires. Uh, okay, and then you can compl complain. Claim or compound Every 30 days, five winners split some kind of vault. All right, because there's a tax system down here. So, well, it doesn't say anything. Now, what's interesting there, there is a fixed supply of 100,000 tokens. So that actually is pretty helpful. Actually, that's really good. Okay, so this is where it is. All right, so... This says it's a hybrid drip miner launching on Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so it does mention it. No wonder I couldn't find it. It's because, like, this colored text on this colored dark background is very hard to read. At least it's not hurting my eyes, though. We have taken the parts, the best parts, out of both types of projects and combined them into one. And thus, we have Swagger. We believe in DeFi. We believe the right to earn. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, earn 3% up. Okay. All right, once you connect to the app, you enter a certain amount of Binance coin, and then you deposit. Your stash will be filled instantly with Swagger tokens, and you will be receiving 3% rewards up to 360% ROI. Huh. Okay, so when you deposit money, you're really buying Swagger tokens, and that's openly traded on the open market. Okay, got it. Uh, we're recommending we recommend compiling a minimum of 100 swagger tokens within 30 days time to be eligible to receive one fifth of the vault air dropped directly into your stash. What the hell's your what's a stash? I assume that's your wallet. Okay, so that's how they'll create demand. You have to buy a minimum of like a hundred tokens or something like that. Okay, good. All right, yeah, because. Because this whole, like, you know, chance to win jackpot or, you know, type of thing, lottery or whatever you want to call it, works really well in crypto, right? I mean, it can't carry all the way, obviously, but it's a one big com component of, like, you know, any other, like, thing you can think of. So this is really good. I actually like that a lot. Oh, and I want to, I mean, you, you could tell just by looking at it, but this is not live yet. It's going to have a pre-sale. I assume this is the public pre-sale in, in two days. At 3 p.m. Universal time, so that's 11 a.m. New York City time. It'll actually be nice when I finally get to leave New York City. All right, so here's a breakdown of their tokenomics and their taxes. So there's a 10% deposit tax when you sell. There's a 12%, so I assume that's withdraw. And then if you compound, they take 5%. Oh, so that's interesting. They they take uh. They take a fee for compounding, which I'm actually okay with because, you know, that reduces the pressure of compounding uh, dilution in minor projects. So that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, and on top of that, you know, the developers of the project, you know, collects money on every type of transaction. So that's good because if the project runs out of money, the project dies. So you, you don't want that. There is no dev tokens. 
Oh, okay, so it's going to be truly fair. Alright, so they're working for free. Okay, so according to this nice little Pac-Man looking pie chart, 15% is the pre-sale, which maybe I think includes this that's happening on May 18th, and the rest is the actual rewards. Now, I want, now I'm interested in their anti-dump mechanics. Hopefully they'll actually say what they'll do. I'm just going to read this real quick in my head. Okay, so... When you deposit Binance coin into Swagger, your stash will be credited in Swagger tokens. There will be no liquid tokens other than the rewards token. So how do you sell the Swagger token? It pays to compound literally. They have to put 5% into the compound fund. If you will go back into liquidity. The vault, okay. And 2% will be sent to the vault. The vault will be, okay. So the vault gets beefed up from compounding. So that's actually pretty good too. Because obviously everyone's going to compound, because you probably have to at some point. The vote will be split five ways every 30 days between randomly chosen addresses that have compounded more than 100 Swagger tokens within 30 days. Okay, so more than 100 Swagger, okay, for every 100 tokens compounded, that address will receive one extra ticket into the drawing. I had to add the extra word, uh, extra. But it does say for every, so that's why I can add that. May the odds ever be in your favor. So that's a Hunger Games reference, I think. Oh, okay. So this actually works out really well. So imagine you had Crops Farmer, and you constantly have to compound. Now imagine if you had a bonus for that too, right? Like there's a chance that you win a lot of money. And this drawing appears to be every 30 days. So there can be only five winners every 30 days. So every time you compound a total of 100 Swagger tokens, you get one extra ticket, which of course increases your chances of winning. So you have one ticket, that's your base chance. Now you have two tickets because you compounded 200 Swagger tokens, right? Now you have double the chance to win. Now obviously this is compared to everyone else, so hopefully their DAP will eventually tell you, hey, you know, here's your odds of winning, because that would actually be pretty helpful. Alright, so I'm actually liking this a lot. I mean, I'm still not likely going to do this because, you know, I, I don't want... Oh yeah, because I have to sign up under someone and i got to do the whole multi-level marketing thing. Because it is technically a drip fork too. So it's like, yeah, you know, I don't want to deal with that. But this actually... I mean, assuming this is not a scam rug pull, of course. This actually looks pretty good. I mean, I would prefer they use a completely different look for their website. But, you know, it's just... Whatever. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not used to seeing this kind of color scheme. I guess that's what it is. But I actually like their tokenomics. I like that there's only 100,000 of these uh, token papegas floating at any time. So we know that there's going to be, um, you know, good... Uh, uh, there should be a relatively stable price. I mean, notwithstanding, you know, launch, post-launch day, you know, public launch, you know, crazy volatility. Uh, but this is actually kind of interesting. This is actually very interesting. So I have to think. Hmm. I mean, in a lot of ways, this is actually kind of like a node project if you think about it. But the difference is, there's a fixed amount of tokens. So, I don't know, whoever made this project really did think, think things through. Yeah, because I'm always liking it because... There's a fixed amount of tokens, 100,000. Hmm. You know, if these 100,000 tokens are already, like, available on launch, basically, because it does say in this pie chart, 15% is being sold in the pre-sale now, and the rest, 85%, is the reward pool. I guess the, here's the only, my only question is, what happens... Did they, want, did they release the contract? Hmm. Yeah, so my question is, what happens when, you know, you're withdraw withdrawing more tokens than there are in the reward pool, right? I mean, I'm thinking there has to be a closed circulation system. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a little confusing. Hmm. It's going to be a little confusing. Now, they tax everything. When people deposit, you have to put Binance coin in. I assume a lot of that has to go into the liquidity. Well, only 5% goes into liquidity. Uh, 
Because let's say, you know, this project is live for like a few weeks, right? Well, what happens when everyone's compounding and withdrawing more than there is in the reward pool? Doesn't the thing have to like, so what, what happens? Like, do you have to, does the project buy it from the open market? But then what if they run out of Binance coin? Or, huh. I don't know, actually. Without looking at the contract, I won't know if they have to mint new rewards. Let's see, and then this expires, because 3% a day, so after like 30 days, yeah, this thing goes for 120. Hmm. I do know that their Twitter is pretty active as well, I think. Or am I confusing it with 100 days? Oh, okay, well, their Twitter's not very active. Uh, they really should be more active, though. Yeah, it's actually very inactive. Oh, and this thing is a pink cell finance. Okay. Uh, what? The pink cell? Well, when I clicked the pink cell, it didn't do anything. Private cell? What? And you get a whitelist there, but... Okay, what? Okay, a swagger dare pre-sale launches on pinksale.finance. Okay. So there's no so the link to the pink sale is actually not live yet. I was like, wait a minute, did this thing just uh, get delisted by Pink Sale? <laughs> yeah, but he's just simply linking out to the actual pink sale website, but there's no actual the thing's not live yet, okay. Alright, so either way, you can check this project out. Uh, definitely looks pretty interesting. Um, especially if you don't mind doing drip forks, but then you have like a minor concept. I don't know. I always just never liked drip networks simply because it's just a lot of work and it's very confusing and complicated. I'm just like, dude, I just want to, I don't want to deal with any people. I don't want to deal with anyone. I just want to go in, get my money, put in money and then get money back out. And then hopefully I get, I take out more than I put in after a while. So, yeah. But either way, I mean, this doesn't look too bad. So, let's see. But yeah, I'm 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 liking uh, I'm li I'm liking how much thought was put into this type of project. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I think it should do okay. I think it should do okay. But I mean, again, I don't know what's gonna happen when everyone's claiming more than there is in the reward pool. So I'm so I don't know what happens uh, at that point. So we'll, we'll have to see. Well, you guys and gals will have to see. You know, I'm going to pass, all right? You know, it's too complicated. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching. So like, subscribe, share this video around. I think it's a little long. Yeah, 18 minutes because I'm still a little groggy. You know, I had to catch up because obviously I haven't done anything for like three, four days, right? Three and a half days. So I just got to do a little bit of catch up. But the next few videos should be shorter. So... Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, all the old and new people, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, check out uh, swaggerhybrid.com. It would be nice if they didn't have to deal with these, uh, you know, hyphens. <clears throat> you know, it, it, I just, I know, for some reason, I just don't like hyphens in a URL, unless you absolutely have to have it. Because I, mean, I guess maybe someone else has this domain, so they have to add the hyphen or something like that. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll see you in the next project. We'll be covering the uh, Loop Finance Tomb Fork.